you can say maybe counseling or sometimes just some personal development, life coach, right? Look for those to, to help. I also coach other acupuncturists, business owners on how to build a business. And a lot of times we focus on mindset training. Maybe a business coach. If you, ha if you own a business, go to a business coach, right? But find someone to help guide you by asking you the right questions. I think that's the biggest thing is having someone ask you the right questions. No one can do it for you. Nobody can do it for you. But we can give you the guidance about where to go and have you think about it yourself. So a lot of it is about self-reflection. Mm -hmm. So those are the three things that, you know, where do you start? I would start with those three things and then start adding on, okay, do I need acupuncture, chiropractic? Do I need supplements? Do I need herbs? Do I need blah, 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 blah. Then determine that. First do the foundation, clear out, remove, and then find what you need later. I think that's the hardest part though too, Jimmy. Sometimes even as a leader and a high performer, the individuals listening, they're not sure, they know what they need in their business. They know they need to grow their finances. They know what their profit margins are, or they know they need to run that extra mile to do that huge athletic event. But sometimes I, I don't know if you find this in your clinic, but it's like, who do I reach out to first that will help me? Because there's so many great practitioners out there. Yeah, that's a great question. So it, it, it depends on, I would say the experience of the practitioner. My scope of practice is not counseling, so I do not do counseling. However, I will coach my, my patients and also my clients on personal stuff that I've done. So I can help guide them through that. Um, if that's not enough, like I said, maybe uh, look to, I, I love psychotherapy, right? Um, you know, I think they have a lot of tools that can really help so I, but then it's i gotta be careful about recommending psychotherapy because i'm not saying you're crazy okay right. <laughs> that's that conversation you need to have maybe they need to they need to come up with a different name instead of psychotherapy yeah. because when people hear that they're like what are you trying to say i'm crazy <laughs> right. right that's the label it's gotten yeah but i, I would say I, I i love to refer to psychotherapist uh, because they do have the training and the tools to guide someone. I will do my part just based on my personal experience, but if it gets to a point where what I'm sharing from my personal experience is not enough, definitely um, you know, I'm gonna refer them out to someone who can help in that process because if they don't change their mindset the way they think, and business owners, successful business owners know this, mindset yeah. is everything. 